So, uh, <clears throat> in this lecture, I am going to explain about Bender. Discriminate method. How we solve one dimensional heat equation using Bender, Bender is committed method. This is also very important method and uh, it is just same like crank in equation, only little bit difference is there. So if you seen my previous lecture, how we solve one dimensional heat equation using crank Nicholson method, then it's so much easy for you to use Bender schematic method to solve heat equation. How I will tell? First, I will take the question. Same question I will take. Suppose the question given del square u by del x square four times. It's equal to del u by del t. Uh, means solve this question. Uh, means uh, heat equation using the given boundary condition given is u0 t0 u uh, 8 comma t is equal to 0 and u x comma 0 is equal to uh, 1 by 2 x 8 minus x so how we solve this equation means heat equation under this boundary condition using which method Bender is committed to method that I'm going to explain and that is so much easy. So as crank Nicholson, I explained. First, write the given boundary condition. So what is the given boundary condition? U0 comma T is equal to zero. So it means when X zero. So whatever this is x value na x comma t so x zero then what is t value t value always the right hand side value so when x zero what is t value zero then given u eight comma t is equal to zero so it means when x value eight t value again zero then uh, with h also given take h value 2. So when u x comma 0 is what? 1 by 2 x 8 comma 8 minus x. This implies when x value x t value how much? 1 by 2 x 8 minus x. So using this boundary condition we will find out x and t value at boundary. Now, uh, what is h given here? h given 2. So, h means increment in x. So, increment in x. What is the starting point of x? It is 0. Ending point of x, is it is 8. And how much increment is there? 2. Similarly, for t, what is the starting point? 0. N points we don't know. But in the question, if they given, go for three time step. Three level step. It means go for three values of t. But before that, we have to calculate what is the increment in t, means k value. So here k value play very important role and k value how we calculate for Bender is committed. We calculate k value by ah square by 2, but in crank Nicholson we calculated k value by the formula ah square. Now a value is how much? Uh, see whatever you have given equation del square u by del x square is equal to a del u over del t. So what is the coefficient of del u by del t? a. So here a value is what? a value given 1 by 4. 
a1 by 4. Then what is h value? 2 square means 4 divided by 2. It means k value is 1 by 2 means 0.5. So now we can make that table. As in question they ask, we go for k value. Suppose in the given question is given i value varying from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and k varying going from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it means we have to go for five level. How we can write this one? I will tell. Sometimes they are asking in second. So T means they are in time only. No? So they are asking in second. Suppose they are asking for two seconds. For two seconds. So I will tell how we write. This is X value. And here T value. So X value how much? Starting from zero. Then two. Then four then 6 and what is last 8 correct uh, because increment is given to only now what about t value t value starting value is 0 not what is k value 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 means what is next 0 0.5 increment in this then what is next 1 then what is next 1.5 then what is next 2 if they are asking for 2 seconds then it will go up to this and here if it is given in this type then what is k value 0 1 2 3 4 one more step we have to go but if they are asking about 2 seconds then stop here and so what in whatever way they will nothing just make that table and how we write the values i will explain that is easy and easily you can do. So see when x value 0, what is t value? It is given when x value 0, what is t value? When x 0, t value always 0. When x 8, then also t value 0. t value means column wise. So x 0, what is t value? 0. So write the t values. x 0, this is t values which is 0 column all column values will be 0 what about this 0 0 0 0 0 so once you have this all then calculate now we have to calculate when t value 0 what is the x values uh, means t values when x values are, is 2 4 6 so for that purpose means first row we calculate the value by with which condition x is equal to x what is t value 1 by 2 x 8 minus x so what is first x value 2 so just put 2 so 2 to cancel 8 minus 2 is 6 when x value 4 so 8 minus 4 4 4 to the 8, 8. When 6, so 3 to the 6. This is the value. Once this table over, how we find out this value? Suppose this is A, this is B, and this is C. So A value is just not like a crank in a question. In this way, here, it's a average of diagonal values only. So what are the diagonal value? 0 plus 8. So two values means 0 plus 8 divided by 2. So what is a value? 4. In crank and equation, we are taking left, right and diagonal. But here only diagonal only. Similarly, what is b value? b value is average of 
6 plus 6 by 2. So this is 4. What is B value? B value is 6 plus 6 by 2. So it is how much? 6. What is 6 C value? 8 plus 0 by 2 means 4. So it means A, B, C, B, no. Correct? Now, go for next value. How we calculate this value? This is average of 0, same. 0 plus 6 by 2 means 3. This is average of 4 plus 4 by 2 means 4. This is average of 6 plus 0 by 3. Similarly, this one is average of 0, 4 means 2. This is average of 3 plus 3 by 2. So it, it is 3. This is average of 4 plus 0, 2. Similarly, for this, how we calculate? See, 0 plus 3, 3 by 2 means 1.5. This is average of 2 plus 2, this one. This is average of 3 plus 0, 3 by 2 means 1 by 0.5. So this is. So in this way, we can do, we can solve one dimensional heat equation using Bender Escudit method. So this method is also easy and we can use for any question. Okay, but if, if they go for a specific solve by this method, then use this one. So hope you all understand this one again, if you have any doubt, feel free to put in message. Thank you.